Hey everyone, this is Ray with Liberty Auto Works, and in this video we have the tux mat for my 2020 Jaguar F-Type R. We're going to be doing the unboxing, preparation, and installation for the vehicle, and I'll give you my honest thoughts and reviews on it and why I chose this over the WeatherTech floor mats. So stay tuned for more uh, content. Here's a look at the factory floor mats that I got from the Land Rover Jaguar dealership here in Edmonton. They don't do a really good job of protecting the carpet and making sure that the dirt and debris stays on the mat itself. And that's why I offered to go for the tux mat. I work in finance. God bless, no, it's not by chance. Don't dab me, you're not my man. Don't at me, you're not my man. As you can see here on the passenger side, a lot of the dirt and debris does go and overflow. Uh, this side isn't used as much, but you'll be able to tell on the driver's side of how little it actually protects. Here's a look at the driver's side after I removed the factory floor mat. And lots of dirt and debris that overflow into the carpet area. And you can see right there, lots of accumulation, especially when you have a slushy winter like ours. Got some friends out in Memphis like I'm Aubrey. Yeah. Got some friends fought for orange like some autumn leaves. Yeah. To get ready for the tux mat installation, I did a thorough vacuum of the carpets just so that the, the rocks and debris are out before placing the new mat inside. And here's a look of the tux mat when it was shipped to me. Very quick shipping, SKU number 236. And this is for a 2020 Jaguar F Type R. Very great packaging, um, as well as fast shipping. So I was really pleased with that. In finance, God bless, no, it's not by chance. No. Don't dab me, you're not my man. No. Don't at me, you're not my man. Mama said, Don't buy it if you cannot buy it twice. As you can see here, these mats are really high quality, really nice. Comes with a lot of hardware so that you can install uh, the mats really nicely into your vehicle. Um, very durable and high quality materials used for it. There's only one complaint that I have with these floor mats. As you can see in the picture, the sides extend so that it's really full coverage on the carpets. But when I did get mine, uh, they look short. So I contacted them and unfortunately there was nothing that they can do about it because they just posted the wrong picture. So a little disappointed about that, but otherwise it's actually a really good um, quality mat. Now here's the insulation of the tux mat. It was really simple to install and you have to put this pin in so that the mat doesn't slide around in place. So what I did was I put the mat in first and then put um, a mark with a sharpie so that I remember where to slide that pin inside.
Now here's that pin in place with the inside the factory ones. And you can see there's a lot of dirt and debris that just overflow because of how slushy it gets and the factory mats don't do a good job. Here's the final installation of the driver's side tux mat. And we have all these clips in place and I put it in between the carpet and the plastic to secure it and make sure that it doesn't move in place. So basically, once you have it in there, you're not going to take it out um, like a regular car mat and wash it at the car wash. They're actually really simple to clean and I'll show it in another video. Uh, they're meant to stay in place and just leave them there all the time. So here's the final look of the tux mat on the driver's side and I use about 8 clips in total to make sure that it's securely in place. The only downside is because of how much coverage that you get for this mat, accessing the hood uh, to pop it open is going to be a little bit more tricky but I don't really see myself opening that, the hood that often so I'm good with that. You can see here with the light on, lots of coverage on of the carpet so that lots of the dirt and debris will not overflow. I really like the look and finish of the tux mat. It makes it look more luxury. Uh, the weather techs that I have on my other vehicles. Um, they're not as nice and um, high-end looking, so uh, these are definitely an upgrade and I think they came in a little bit cheaper than the, the weather techs would and with more coverage, so really happy about that. So there you have it everyone, uh, the insulation went really smoothly, I'm really happy with the product, the fit and finish is really awesome and I do like it uh, better than the WeatherTex as I have it on my other vehicles. In another video I'll be showing you how to clean and maintain your tux mats and um, some, give you some tips and tricks for that. So thanks so much for tuning in and please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more content.